I hear it all the time in the studio. Gabby, I was using a certain product before that was working really well for me, and now all of a sudden it just doesn't look good anymore. Why? What am I doing wrong? Nothing. You are not doing anything wrong. As we age, our faces change, our skin changes, our eyes change, and with that change means that we also need to change our products. Let's take a shot every single time I say the word change in this video. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. You'll be very drunk and so will I. Today we're going to talk about my favorite makeup products for women over 50. These are products that I have personally used on hundreds of clients, products that have super high reviews online, products that other makeup artists, including celebrity makeup artists, swear by. The holy grail, okay? The holy grail of over 50 makeup. I have been reading a lot of your your comments online, a lot of them, all of them. I read all of the comments and I know that many of you are also looking for and searching for affordable options that work as well. So I'm going to go through each category and show you some high end brands and some affordable drugstore brands that are very comparable. Let's go. Let's start with foundations and spend a little extra time here because base products are just so important to the overall finished result of the makeup. Finding the right foundation as you age can be very tricky. It's probably the trickiest thing because when we're younger, almost all the formulas of foundation just look fine, right? Some are better than others, but they all look okay. But as we get older, the skin changes a lot and things that looked good before don't look the same anymore at all. Many of my clients in the 55 to 60 plus range feel like their skin actually looks worse with foundation on than without it on. And that's because certain foundations can have this tendency to really settle in fine lines and wrinkles and completely accentuate them. It draws arrows right to them. Because of that reason, many, many women just stop wearing it altogether. But if you really want to look your best, even if it's just for a certain situation like a wedding or an event, then it really is a mistake to skip the foundation step. If you use the right product and you apply it in the right way, your skin will look significantly healthier, more even and glowier, which will give you a much more youthful appearance overall. I'm gonna go through some of my favorite foundations with you, but first I want to answer this very frequently asked question that I see come up time and time again. Should mature skin use matte or dewy foundations? This is a great question. And if you watch my channel a lot, you're gonna know the answer to this right away. In general, foundations with a more dewy, radiant finish perform better on mature skin since mature skin tends to be drier and flatter looking. So in film and TV, I used to work in film and TV doing makeup. When we wanted a young actor to look older, as makeup artists, we actually made their skin look more dry. <laughs> the flat appearance signals to the brain that that person is older. It's a special effects makeup trick, right? So what can we learn from that? If you want your skin to look more youthful, you want to do the opposite and you want to add luminosity to it. That is what children have, right? That really luminous, fresh looking skin. So here are some foundations that I recommend that sit very well on aging skin. In terms of drugstore, I fell in love with the L'Oreal Age Perfect Foundation this year. I use it all the time on myself and on clients. I would say that the coverage is on the lighter side, but it is buildable and it doesn't settle on the fine lines at all. It comes in 21 different shades. It's very radiant without feeling oily and it has like a hydrating serum in it and vitamin B3, which is is great. It's also very affordable. It only costs $17.99 at Ulta. If you've tried it, I've mentioned it a lot, so some of you guys have probably tried it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious to know if you love it as much as I do. I know it's hard to find it because people are just buying it everywhere. The reviews are just amazing and I can see why. It's probably one of the nicest drugstore foundations that I have ever tried. Ever. I really love it. It feels like a very high-end foundation at a very affordable price, hence why it's always sold out. If you can get your hands on it, get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. In terms of prestige brands, there are two that I use a lot. So let's talk about It Cosmetics first because this one has a cult following in the mature community 
Everyone talks about it. Everyone loves it. This product in particular is called the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. It's actually a CC cream that is full coverage, which is interesting because CC creams are generally very light coverage. So if you struggle with age spots, if you have a lot of discoloration in your skin from sun damage or for whatever other reason, this will cover it up, but it will do it in a way that still makes your skin look like skin. It's really, very interesting. The finish is very bright and very luminous. It also has an SPF of 50 built right into it, which is so good, amazing. In my makeup kit on my clients, I use the original one, but there are actually a few different variations of this product now. There's a CC Nude Glow, which has a lower coverage than the original with the addition of a brightening glow serum. There's also the CC Cream Illumination, which is like the original one in that it's full coverage, but it has that added glow to it as well. And then there's this matte version, which is the same full coverage as the original, but more matte. So keep that in mind if you decide to purchase this product and go through them, right? choose the one that you think is most suitable for you because it's going to change the way it wears on your face. In US dollars, this product costs $47. It's significantly more expensive than the L'Oreal one, but it's also much higher coverage. So this is worth it in my opinion. It's actually a very unique formula for a CC cream and even just for a foundation in general. Finally, the last one that I want to recommend to you is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is a fantastic product if you're looking for long wear and full coverage. This is the foundation that I reach for most of the time when I'm working on like a mother of the bride or a mother of the groom. Now, this is a natural matte finish, so it's best for women with normal to combination oily skin, but that doesn't mean that women with dry skin can't wear it. On my dry skin clients, I use it, but I just use like a very hydrating skincare product under it, or I'll actually mix it with a hydrating foundation I often mix this formula with the L'Oreal H Perfect when I'm trying to get like a fuller coverage and longer wear time, but I'm also trying to keep the hydration in it. I did that in Monica's makeup tutorial and the result was stunning. Estee Lauder Double Wear comes in 55 shades, so it's very inclusive, which I love so much. And like I mentioned, it really is bulletproof, waterproof, tearproof. <laughs> all of the proofs, it's all of the proofs. If you put this on at 7 a.m., you will still look perfect at 10 p.m. It is the longest wearing foundation that I have ever used, ever. This one does sit at the highest price point though. It is $49, 49 US dollars. All right, let's move right along to concealers. When it comes to drugstore brands, one of my favorites right now is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It is made specifically to erase dark circles under the eyes. It comes with this sponge tip applicator, which is very convenient. And I just learned that you can also get a neutralizer tone in the same packaging and a brightener tone. I I don't have it, but I'm gonna go out and buy it today because I'm so, so curious about it. If you don't have very problematic under eyes, then you can just go in with the concealer itself. But if you have really dark, dark circles, you can use the neutralizer first, right? It's a corrector. Then you can use your regular concealer shade on top and then use the brightener tone like on the inner corners of the eyes. I've not seen an under eye concealer that also has a color corrector version and a brightener version, you know, all together before. It's really awesome. And the best part is that it's also very affordable. It's only $10.99 at Ulta. Another drugstore concealer that I really like is the L'Oreal Age Perfect. This one goes with the L'Oreal Age Perfect foundation that I just mentioned. Again, this is a really hydrating formula. It has glycerin in it and it's made specifically for mature skin. It doesn't settle in fine lines either and it doesn't dry down too much. So it doesn't make the area look really crepey. It's really good for people with like a lower to medium coverage need, which is most people. Most people don't have a lot of issues under the eyes. It's $13.99 at Ulta. In terms of high-end concealers, one of the most beloved ones, the one that shows up in all of the blogs, right, all the makeup artist blogs, it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Face and Under Eye Concealer. I can never get that out right. Um, this product is super hydrating, it's buildable, it's medium coverage with a really natural finish. I also don't find that this one has a crazy amount of coverage, but if your under eyes aren't super dark and you need radiance, or if you have really dry skin and the skin under your eye tends to look dry and crepey, this is excellent for that situation. It's $39, so it's on the pricier side, but it also isn't completely outrageous and a little does go a long way. I've had mine 
forever and I still have quite a bit of product in it and I use it like all the time. Okay, let's talk about powders next. Okay, let's talk about powders. A lot of women over 50 avoid powder altogether because it can make the skin look older, but you do wanna use powder in strategic places, you really do. Setting under the eyes, for example, with a little bit of powder is pretty important or else the area will just definitely crease. It will start creasing like immediately after you put your concealer on. You may also want to dust a little bit of powder in the middle areas of the face where the oil can build up and collect. Finding a powder for mature skin is the biggest challenge ever because it really can accentuate those fine lines. So I've been on the powder hunt for the last year and these are my favorite. These are the most finely milled, nicest powders that I've found. In terms of drugstore, I really like the e.l.f. HD translucent powder. ELF has some great products that are crazy affordable. The prices are so amazing. So if you haven't tried their brand before, you should. A lot of their products get a cult following on social media. A lot of their products go viral on social media. And that's why the, the price is so good for the product. The product's awesome and the price is like crazy low, like crazy low. I don't even know how they do it. This HD powder is only $6 and you can get it in sheer or in the color Soft Luminous. It is super, super, super finely milled. So it doesn't settle in the lines and it creates a really beautiful blurring effect, almost like a skin filter does. It just kind of blurs everything out. My only hesitation with this is that the sheer one does have a white cast in flash photography. So if you're wearing it to an event at night where there's going to be flash used in the photography, be careful with this around your eyes because you may get like a white cast in the pictures. I learned that the hard way. I really learned that the hard way. But in natural light and for everyday use, it's really great, it is. If you're just gonna use it, you know, in your day-to-day -day life, you're in natural light, you're just being a normal person, for $6, it's a really good powder. It's a really good powder. Okay, the next one that I love, 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 love for under the eye specifically is the Vasanti Lotus Brightening Powder. This is my favorite favorite one right now. Again, it's very finely milled. It's creaseless. It's brightening. It's made specifically for under eye skin and it comes in the color range 100 to 400 volt. That's how they label it. It's um, kind of an interesting way to label it, but it's very inclusive. Sometimes it can be hard to find powders that don't immediately look ashy on darker skin tones on women of color, Middle Eastern women, Indian women. But Visanti is really good about that since the brand itself is all about inclusivity and ethnic diversity. This powder is expensive. It's $40 Canadian, which is about $29 American, but it really is awesome. If you struggle with dark circles in general, you should also look into their color correcting concealer that goes with it. They've done a great job of developing products to specifically target, you know, that issue that many women of color face. Many women of color really struggle with under eye circles and with concealer looking ashy and with powders looking ashy. They have honed in on that. 10 out of 10. I use this on my mom. My mom has hereditary dark circles and she has a deeper skin tone and it worked so well on her. Finally, the last one that I really do love is the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. This is the most expensive one by a lot. It's $52. <sighs> It's so expensive, but it is huge, okay? You get a lot of product for that cost. It's also ultra fine, smooth, has a beautiful texture. I've used it on women in their 80s and it works so well. I've used it in women in their 20s and it works really well as well. It's a great universal product. It works for everyone. If you want a gigantic powder, a nice big powder that's gonna last you a long time and you want it to work, on all needs and not leave a white cast or anything, just be like a super solid, high quality powder. The Chanel Universal one is great. It really is, 10 out of 10. All right, I'm gonna stop it here so this video doesn't get too long, but I need something from you before you go, so don't go yet. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to make an entire series playlist that goes through brow products, lip products, blushes, mascaras, whatever, all the makeup products that work best on women over 50, let me know in the comments. Your comments dictate what I create. It really does. I absolutely read them and I act based on those comments. So if you like it, let me know. Or if you have suggestions for what you would find more helpful than this video, let me know that too. 
I really do value you guys as my audience. Sending a big old Canadian hug your way. This video is over.